how many times you go to a restaurant and the food's really good, but you really didn't have a good time, right? Uh, the service wasn't that good, or it's boring, or uh, it's really expensive, and you don't really feel like you got value, right? You know why? Because the chef's running that restaurant, not a restaurateur. And a lot of times you go to like the 99 or you go to some other casual place and you have the best time of your life. And you, you know, the food's just okay, but why do you keep going back there? Because it's the way you were treated, you know? So it's not about the chef, it's really about how the whole business runs. Steve DiFilippo was only 24 when he opened his first Davio's restaurant. Since then, he's wowed Julia Child with his Pomodoro, taken on American Express, whipped up some tasty eats at the Super Bowl, and that's just the beginning. That first restaurant is now the hub of a rapidly growing $50 million restaurant brand group and a $10 million Davio's brand food line. From TV host of the Emmy Award-winning Dish It Up on Style Boston, Steve and the Davio's brand have been featured in such media outlets as NBC's Today Show, Fox Sports, Better TV, The New York Times, Time, Bloomberg News, The Boston Globe, and The Huffington Post, to name a few. In 2008, Steve was inducted into the prestigious Massachusetts Restaurant Hall of Fame. Today at the Super Bowl, for a lot of fans, the big game is all about the tailgate party. That's right, so we decided uh, a Super Bowl cook-off throwdown, two Super Bowl teams against each other. We've got Chef Steven DiFilippo, he's uh, representing uh, from Davio's in Boston, right. representing the Patriots. How much food do you think you guys are going to serve during this event? Uh, well, we brought 25 gallons of bolognese sauce and we had 5,000 gnocchis. Wow. We've been making them out for weeks, weeks. Yeah. There's 3,000 yeah. people out of attending the yeah. event. I had two guys quit because of it. <laughs> Just couldn't handle it. <laughs> They're done. They're done. Hi, I'm Steve DiFilippo. I'm here in Quincy at Remix, Marco Falli's newest venture. Now, restaurateurs, we don't go to the front. We go to the back. Let's go in the kitchen and see Mark. Come on in. Let's go. He's supposed to be back here playing with a pig, so let's see what he's doing. I can't Mark, get push. this apple in here. Oh, Steve, what are you doing? Mark, you gotta be kidding me. What are you doing with this apple? That's the axle. That's the axle of that pig's outfit. You just ruined it. No, if I put it back like that, they won't. Well, it looks like the pig was Come eating that. I'm from. What are you making here? What is this? So, from head to tail, we use every part of the pig. So, these are the collard greens that um, we use the pork belly and we uh, stew out those greens with. The bacon here is the pig bacon? That's right. That, that guy right there? A girl? That guy right is there. Is that a guy or a girl? A girl. Does she have lipstick? Mark. How's that? Those are good. Good, right? It's pretty cool to be in a restaurant that, you know, one night Bruce Springsteen's here and the next night you have Oprah's here. I mean, we've had pretty the gamut who's, who's been here. Uh, so, you know, we've, we have very high standards here. We have people that expect the best and we have to give them the best. So every day we have to perform. Every day we've got to make sure that the food is great, and we're taking care of our guests, we look good, the place looks good. Uh, and it's, it's, it sounds like a lot of work, but that's what you do and that's what you know. You do it. And I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You know, my whole life I've wanted to do this. and. I honestly, I feel like I'm just getting started. You know, I, I, even though it's 28 years at Davio's, they're gonna have to take me out of here in a box, okay? Because I'm not going anywhere. And I have kids coming up in the, in the business and you know they're gonna wanna take over someday, uh, but I'm not going anywhere. With guests constantly asking how he did it, Steve has written the ultimate guide titled, It's All About the Guest, about starting a restaurant, running a successful business, and living life to the fullest. The nearly six million restaurant workers who say they want to open their own restaurant will love this book, but so will anybody who loves the restaurant world. Steve travels the country, sharing with audiences of business leaders and aspiring and current restaurateurs his experiences and knowledge of running a successful restaurant brand. So we really take care of the people that we work with. We make sure they have respect. Uh, we feed everybody. Uh, and I think that's why we have, of the first, the original 15 employees that I had, now I have like close to 450, and by the end of the year we'll probably have 700. You know, it's crazy how we're expanding, but um, I'm excited of those first 15, we have five of the originals, which is unheard of in this business. We have people that have been with us 20 years, 15 years. John can tell you, it's, it's crazy how many people have been with us. And it's because we take care of people, and I think when you get into whatever business you're going to do, you have to do that. Here we are in Chinatown. Thank you. 
So Todd, besides Davios, uh, when you're in Boston, where else do you go when you go out to eat? Well, I, obviously Davios is one of my first choices. In Asia, you're not going to get the quality of ingredients. Why go to Hong Kong when you can be in Chinatown or Boston and have food as good as this and the quality of this? And have friends like Steve, my buddy, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to go to a school and talk to the kids. Uh, I really enjoy going in front of a room. I could be there for hours. Every kid has three or four questions. Uh, and then what happens is a lot of them are doing projects and I get emailed afterwards and uh, I've been working with a bunch of kids. And, you know, and I, to me, it's when I was in college, when I was at BU, it was always hard to get a business person to call you back, to even talk to you about what they do. So I always try to help people out. And uh, so it's another reason why I wanted to do the book too. Uh, and it's a lot of fun to get in front of a room and have interaction with an audience and you never know what's going to happen and I've really been having a lot of fun doing that. I've been doing that for years. Um, so I hope to continue to do that. And, and now I'm starting to have companies call me and they want me to come. and Because, uh, you know, I have an interesting bunch of years here, you know. A lot of crazy things have happened to me. I've learned a lot, you know, and I'm trying to give that information to everybody. And, uh, it's been fun, you know.